Hello and welcome to the show. Today, my Tesla Model X 2023 is over at the Tesla Service Center getting some things done to it. Uh, and so I have an empty garage space and I thought I'd make a quick video about some of the things that I've got going on here. So we'll start with the yellow tape that I put down. <laughs> so it looks like an actual parking spot. And the original purpose was this for this was to see if I could get the Tesla to back up into the garage, auto park into the garage. Um, it doesn't, but a really kind of cool side effect of having done this project is now it's super simple for me to park the car uh, in the garage. Like I just use the parking spot like you would anywhere else. And it's a fantastic guide. I, it can whip right in and out of here. I know that I've got a good distance between uh, the Tesla and my wife's beautiful Audi here. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to talk about was an interesting problem that we had once I got the Tesla. So when we moved in here, we had this uh, 50 amp or 240 volt plug installed here uh, by, uh, by an electrician. And it runs up into this 50 amp breaker here. Okay, so it's just the 240 volt, the 50 amp breaker. And we would plug the Audi directly into this. Uh, no problem, worked just fine. When we brought the Tesla home, <laughs> the uh, situation that we ended up finding ourselves in was one plug, two EVs, you know what I mean? Uh, and I thought through it and didn't want to spend the $1,500 to install another plug. So I did some research and I found this Lectron 1450 NEMA splitter. And the thing that's really cool about this guy is it has the ability of having both cars plugged into the same time, but it will only send power to one at a time. So if I've got the Audi plugged in to the number one port and the Tesla plugged into the number two port, when the Audi is done charging, it'll automatically switch over and then charge the Tesla, number one being the primary port. So if I had it the other way around, the, the Tesla would be the priority. Uh, so it does a really good job. It's UL rated um, and I haven't had any issues with it. There was a slight buzzing noise the first day or two that I had it, uh, but that went away. Um, it has this really neat kind of LCD screen here, which talks about usage, what's running through it, what's being charged. And you can see um, when both cars are plugged in, only one is active at a time. And then you see this green circle uh, around the plug indicating the one that's sending power. So this has been a really handy addition. It was like 170 or 175 bucks on Amazon. Uh, really simple to install. You just plug it in and then plug your cars into it and it handles everything else just fine for you. So we've got the Tesla that uh, runs here, and here's the charger for the Tesla. And then over here on this wall, we have the charger for the Audi. And usually we will have them both uh, plugged into the same time. And yes, I do have the Audi plugged into this short extension cord here, which I don't love, but I haven't found a better solution. I don't know if they sell longer cords for plug-in or for EVs that don't require an extension cord. Uh, but in any case, this has not been a problem. Usually if you have, when you, when you run extension cords like this, you introduce additional points of you know, failure or resistance. And what can happen is, is things can get uh, hot, which is not great, but I haven't experienced that. This little extension cord here, uh, again, from Amazon, is, is pretty snug and I haven't noticed any resistance issues or, or problems with this. So we are able to charge both of our EVs off of this single 240 volt plug, this 50 amp plug here. The Electron NEMA uh, 1450 or 1450 NEMA splitter also, it has a built-in breaker. So I feel pretty safe and pretty confident in running this setup. So if you are wondering how you can charge two EVs with one plug, one outlet, this could very well be your solution.